evening, everybody. It's New Year's Day, and the Blues have been to Leeds for a a jolly, really. Um, now, let's be serious. I wish you all a Happy New Year. Personally, New Year means nothing to me. You know, I'm still the same person as I was yesterday. Nothing's going to change in the country, in the world, in one day, or one month, even. And certainly the fortunes of Birmingham City are not going to change for another four months. Now, at the moment, uh, our wonderful manager has managed to accrue 10 points from 15 games. Now then, there are 20 games left. So at that rate, we'll get another 12 or 13 points. Let's say 13 because, you know, the lads are trying hard. 13 more points will put us on 41 at the end of the season. 41 points from 46 games. That will send us down, right? Mr. Wagner, please, please listen to me. The way we are going, we are going down, right? This man that you've appointed as manager has no clue. He does not understand the mathematics of this thing, this 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 league. In order to stay up, you've got to get at least fifty, right? And that would mean doubling, doubling his own input of points over the next twenty games. He shows no sign of doing that, no sign of inspiring anybody else to do that, no sign that we have a team. Uh, capable of doing that certainly not under his management now he's got an army of coaches behind him who are as good as useless and, uh, oh we've got England and Irish internationals the greatest defenders on the planet well you might as well put them in the team because the people that have currently been put in the team are not capable of defending their own goal right now okay we had a mix and match backline today um, because of injuries and, and uh, Drame couldn't play because he's playing against his own, own club. Uh, all that business. <sighs> if I'd have been Leeds manager, I would have said, play who you want because you ain't got anybody good enough to give us a game. But that's by the by. Now, for first 30 minutes, we... We attacked, uh, we broke, couldn't quite get the better of, of uh, the Leeds defence, and we held firm against their non-stop attacks. Now, just when you're thinking, well, we might have something here, the inevitable happens. Like we've done in the last four games where we've conceded three goals, we passed the ball to the opposition, not in their half, where you can recover from that, but in our half, and in our last third. And before you know it, bump, we're 2-0 down. First one across from the right, Longello is nowhere near his winger. He's not closed him down. At the cross, he doesn't have to think about the cross. He can look up and pick somebody out because Longello's nowhere near him. And then, lo and behold, Mr... Uh, What's his name? The, the goal scorer. It doesn't matter. Uh, he's standing on the far post. Lonely, lonely than Bambi on ice. And heads, heads past uh, Ruddy, who he was unlucky because he headed it straight at him. But he was so close, uh, Ruddy couldn't steer it away. The second one, um, again, gives the ball away in... In our, in our own 18-yard box. Bump, 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 cross into the middle, side foot. Again, hits somebody up the backside and flies in the top corner of the net. You can't begrudge the opposition their their good luck because you're, you're help aiding and abetting. We've had people on that pitch today that did more for the Leeds United cause than they've done for us all season. Now, the side selection... Uh, was a bit of a mystery to me because we have got players who can break 
and we haven't got players who can uh, at least hit the target. Uh, but we decide to leave them on their backsides in, on the bench. Appalling. Uh, and I don't like to single people out, but what does Mr. Burke do? He, he, he continually, continually either failed to receive the ball off his, off his defenders and somebody would nip in and take it off him. Or if he did manage to get the ball at his feet, he picked out one of the opposition time and time again. Now, you can't defend that 80% of the game. You're going to concede. Now, the third goal was was the goal of the game. It was a wonderful move, and it, it left our defence. Well, their, their, their striker was on our penalty spot with three quarters of the goal to aim at, which was completely empty. And he slid it in the corner like Jimmy Greaves, and you're thinking, when are we going to get, when are we going to do that to the opposition? When are we going to open up the opposition? You know, with a, with, with a, with a cracking move. No, it don't happen, does it? It doesn't happen. We have to pull off master strokes, wonderful, wonderful pieces of goal scoring to get one, let alone three. Now, I've said this before. This nonsense cannot continue any longer. 20 games to go. We need 30 points from those 20 games, which is championship winning for me. Now, if Mr. Wagner and Mr. Cook think that this man, this man has any chance at all of achieving that, then come on, come on my program. Come, no, not yours, my program, and tell me how he's going to do it. Because I guarantee you don't know, I certainly don't know, and I've only been watching them for 63 years. 63 years. And this is the worst position we've ever been in. We've had crap managers, we've had decent managers. But even the crap ones show glimpses. That you think, well, I know what this guy's trying to do. He hasn't got the players, or he hasn't got this, or he hasn't got that. And, and you all know who they are, you know? But this guy is superseding their incompetence in spades. Absolutely in spades. Let's not pretend anymore. Time to go, Mr. Rooney. You've got a lovely family. Go and enjoy them. Go and enjoy them. I've got nothing against you personally. And I, I, I watch you on the touchline and I feel... Sorry for you, because you, you're operating under the illusion that something's going to change. And only an idiot does the same thing over and over again and expect things to change. They won't. You've got to find something new. And you've got to find something new for the whole team. All you people that say, oh, well, the players aren't doing it for him. Is that... We can't get, ri we can't get rid of... 18 players and replace them in, in, in a month. Can't do that. But we can get rid of the cowboy that is pretending to be something he's not. Now, as I said, we're, we're in for a very, very long second half of the season. I, I, I had to gander through the, through the fixtures before I came on here to see who's coming up. Well, I can't see us beating any of them. You know, we're we're seven points away from QPR at the moment, and they're just kicking off now at quarter past five. If Sheffield Wednesday beat Hull, then we'll only be six points off relegation. Now, we've got to get as many points as Sheffield Wednesday, QPR, and Rotherham get at least, and I don't see it. I don't see it. So let's let's all let's all have a happy new year, Mr. Wagner and Mr. Cook. Let's all have a happy new year and get rid and replace him ASAP. We want a new manager for that cop tie. So he can experiment, he can try things and whatever and he could he could 
he'd have a whole six days to sign somebody who can play. Anyway, God bless you all. New Year's Day. New Year's Day. <laughs>